All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I am so excited because you guys are going to get to hear from one of the top diamonds, in my opinion, one of the best health experts in Plexus. I go to this amazing, wonderful woman that I'm about to um, introduce to you. I go to her with questions, and um, she's just amazing. She's so knowledgeable in health. She is a retired nurse, thanks to Plexus. Um, she is a crunchy, holistic, organic mom. She has two daughters and is um, married, what? You got married in Maui like a year or two ago. And uh, what else? She moved, so get this, she moved to Tennessee, did not know anyone, and started her Plexus business in Tennessee as she led a breastfeeding support group and ended up signing and growing a team through these new mommies and helping them make an income from staying at home. Um, and she's a certified lact lactation consultant. So it is my honor and pleasure. Thank you so much, Donna Lee Robinson, for being on and gracing us with your presence this evening. She's gonna talk about products and um, a little bit about the business. So let me pass it over to you. Thanks, Autumn. Thanks, guys, for having me on tonight. Um, okay, so like she said, I am, I'm, I'm a diamond with Plexus. I've been with Plexus now for four and a half years. I've been diamond for three and a half years, which seems like forever ago that we started. And uh, when I had started this business, I was living in California, and I uh, had recently moved to Tennessee. Um, my sister, Laura Robinson, is also a diamond, and she is my sponsor. So at the time, we were living in her spare room. My husband and I both being nurses, but we were working opposite shifts, and we really weren't able to provide for our family in a way yet to afford our own place after a cross-country move. So we were, we were you know, living with her, and she had uh, started Plexus about a month and a half prior to me starting. And she kept trying to recruit me, and I'm sure you guys know the story, like whoever signed you up, they kept messaging you, or they kept, you know, meeting with you, whatever it may be. So that was kind of our thing as well. She, um, But in our situation, she would yell across the house, Donnelly, Donnelly, what's your social? So finally, I actually joined her, um, and obviously the rest is history. We would sit at her table, and we'd watch every single YouTube video you could think of to learn how to grow our business and um, we were very much self-starters and um, when we decided to do this together we decided we weren't going to just half do it if we were going to you know grow this business we were going to use every resource we can um, which I'm sure you guys have amazing resources um, the company now it, just to say the company resources that we have in our virtual office when I started, we didn't have anything. So what you see now is incredible. Um, it's it's so great. But so tonight I wanted to talk a little bit about products to you guys. I think sometimes we don't talk enough about our products. Um, and I, I do want to let you know that I'm a firm believer that you do not have to be an expert. I always say, you know, three main things about each product, something you can ramble off and then let our resources be the expert. So never feel like you don't know enough to share with somebody because you're in a position to change their life. So don't ever let anyone else's knowledge or, you know, the resources overwhelm you. It's just that some people, um, and this is for me as well, I'm a, I'm a green, red personality. Um, I like to research things. I like to learn about ingredients. I have to know how everything works in every part of the body, um, but that's not everyone. And generally, if you send them a two-page novel, they're not going to read it and they're probably not going to join you. That is something I did in the beginning, um, something not to do. I would send, everybody got a novel on Plexus Slim and Accelerator Plus because that is what I knew the best and that's what I was comfortable sharing at the time. So everybody was put on those two, and that is the novel they got. So <laughs> um, years later, I do things very differently. But, you know, we are really lucky that we are on the forefront of microbiome research um, as a country, I feel like, and our products really fall in line with that. And we are lucky that we are able to now, wherever you may be, you know, you can Google gut health and depression or gut health and fertility, whatever it may be, you're able to correlate those now. And that really helps with the credibility of our company and our products. So because we are able to utilize those, um, 
third party resources as well. It really is going to help you grow your business. And like I said, you don't have to be the expert. You can say, Hey, so-and-so, I remember when you asked me about this, I just found this article. I just ran across this article today. It talks about, you know, gut health and depression. You know, I'd love to see what you think about it. So you just, you just are able to do things differently than if you're with a company that didn't have um, that type of research. And sometimes it's not even our own research. It's research on PubMed or other sites, but you're able to grab it because it still makes sense, right? It's still gut health and something. So I think that's um, something that I love in this company. Um, so I just want to, let me see here. I have a bunch of notes I'm going to look over for you guys. So when I was deciding when I first started this company, I came in for the business and I know for everybody, their story is different. Maybe they come in for the business. Maybe you come in to start the product wholesale and you fall in love with them and you share with your friends. Everyone's story is a little different. So when I started, I didn't have enough money to buy my welcome pack. So my sister put that $34.95 and the $99 on her credit card for me and she charged it. She kept the products. So every once in a while, I would get a stick of slim, um, but she kept the products. So it took me eight weeks until I was able to order my own products and try them. So I started without the product belief. However, and I always say this, right? We never will need all the products, hopefully, right? We hopefully will never have a need for all the products. Hopefully we're well enough where we only need a couple. But because I didn't have them in hand, I spent a lot of time researching them because I had to build that belief in what I was sharing. I had to know how that worked and this and that, just like I was saying, but you don't always have to know that. But for me, that I had to build that belief before I could start sharing the products in, in general. So if you have someone who's starting up who you know maybe says, well, I need to wait for my own store. We hear that a lot. I wanna, I wanna see how it works for me. I always tell people, the products are going to work differently for everybody. Everybody's genetic makeup is different. Everyone's medical history is different. Everyone's medications, herbs they take, whatever it may be, their exercise level, everyone's it's different. So to compare one person's results to the other is just not the best thing to do because I may take slim and get energy and someone else may take it and fall asleep. You know, it's totally different. So don't ever let that hold you back. Okay, so um, I always say that we're lucky with our products because everybody is a potential, whether they need to be on a multivitamin or a probiotic, which I'm a firm believer that everybody needs a multivitamin and a probiotic, right? So that is something already that you know when you're going out and you're meeting people and you're hearing their stories that those two are always something that you can share with them. And the reason why I feel like everybody needs a, a multivitamin is because our soils are depleted, our foods are not great anymore, um, we're, we're not out there digging in the dirt, getting in those good soil-based organisms, um, and we're exposed to toxins every day, right? So whatever it be medications, I had heard once that um, not only are antibi antibiotics terrible, right, for the gut, gut because they kill everything, not just the bad bacteria, but they also kill the good bacteria. But birth control, women are going on birth control earlier and earlier, and it's terrible, terrible, terrible for the gut. So most women, unfortunately, now are on some type of birth control, hormonal birth control, which is destroying that lining. So you just have more talking points with people. Um, something else that actually really helps is um, exercise. So asking people, you know, how often are you active, right? It's not, I would dare to say most people probably aren't active for 30 minutes a day. Um, and that's just because our lives are busy, right? Our lives are totally busy and things get in the way. So we have people who aren't exercising as much. Um, our soils are depleted, right? They don't, they don't have the rich nutrients. Um, GMO foods, pesticides, we have fluoride and chlorine in our water, we have medications, we have this whole group of things that are making it harder for us to stay healthy. But lucky for us, you know, we have products that are going to help people. So I want to start off first with Slim because um, this is this is my third Slim now since being with the company. So the first one changed, you know, slightly to add the gut health com complex and then my favorite now is actually the HC. I, I just love the HC so much. But what I want to talk about is, hang on, I'm pulling up my notes here for you guys. So something that is different with the Microbiome Slim that you guys might not know yet, um, it's also, so the prebiotic blend, so the xyloligosaccharides, 
And what those do is those actually feed the bacteria in your gut. So it becomes food for them. It's a non-digestible fiber. Um, those little bacteria come in and eat it. But what it helps them to do is it puts off something called short-chain fatty acids. It's something called butyrate propionate. And what that does is it becomes a major energy source and it helps to um, increase your metabolism. So that is something that is so interesting that a lot of companies that have supplements or maybe they have a weight loss drink or whatever it may be that is totally different for our company. Um, and what happens is as those short chain fatty acids release the greatness, right? Um, it becomes something called a postbiotic. So not so our drink has a prebiotic, a probiotic, and a postbiotic. So that is something that is unique as well. Um, and what the postbiotics do is they help to uh, reduce inflammation in the body. They help to increase that fat metabolism, and they also help to um, decrease insulin resistance. So you know a lot of illness comes from insulin resistance. Most is uh, PCOS, but it's not just PCOS. Lots of autoimmune issues, um, lots of metabolism, metabolism and mitochondria issues. So if anybody is struggling with blood sugar, so fluctuations, whatever it be, they need something to help regulate that blood sugar. So what I want to do is I want to go through um, a few of the key ingredients in Slim that are a little bit different that maybe you might not know. So just some fun little things. And I have a couple, a couple other ones. Um, it's easy to know. It's, it's easy to find like what each ingredient is, but I think I have a few other things that you guys might like. So the important thing is that all of our ingredients are carefully chosen. Um, even the, the stevia that we use is water extracted. So there's different kinds. Um, and our company goes to trade shows and they, they look at ingredients and they look at the research and they're very, very careful what products they bring into our line. So when it comes to the chlorogenic acid that is in our slim, that's from the unroasted green coffee bean. Um, and we have also done, um, done research on it because you'll hear people say, well, I don't, I can't drink caffeine, right? And we, we have to tell them well, there's actually no caffeine in it, which is really helpful. It's actually less than 2%, but because it's that we have to, we have to label it. Um, but when they've done third party testing, there has been no caffeine. So this is something that you can offer to people that have those caffeine sensitivities, or maybe it's shaky, whatever it may be. Um, the other ingredient in it that I love is the alpha lipoic acid. So alpha-lipoic acid is a really great um, heavy metal detoxifier. And the way that it does that is that it helps the body to produce more glutathione. And what glutathione is, it's your, bat, your body's master antioxidant. So what that does is it fights against those free radicals that you hear about. It helps the body to detoxify. So, you know, no matter what, what we take in, there's, there's a component in there that has to be detoxified. So this is what alpha lipoic acid helps us to do. Um, alpha lipoic acid also can help with blood sugar regulation. Um, and it also, you know, is a great antioxidant. So when we talk about glutathione, so something you probably, you guys probably don't know, um, edge comes to mind for me. So edge is a fabulous product for people who suffer with um, attention disorders and the reason being is that because the L-theanine in it is good for brain health. And what they find is that it has the same type of stimulant components as some of the medications that people are put on for ADD and ADHD. So with glutathione, there's two ingredients in the edge. It's L-theanine and theocrine. And both of them help to produce glutathione in the body, so antioxidants. So if you have somebody who is struggling with um, detoxification issues, maybe they're sluggish, maybe they're gonna be on slim, right? And we know, okay, this person might really feel really bad if they're on it. Um, that is a great product to add with them. So that is Edge. Um, the theocrine also inside of it, um, it helps to reduce histamine in the body and inflammation. So I was reading a couple studies and it was saying that the theocrine is really good as a post-workout. So you may consider it first something that someone would take before they go and work out, but the research is showing that it helps with muscle recovery. So I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, okay, something about block that you guys might know. So 
there have been studies done that specifically took the brown seaweed component um, in just not block, but brown seaweed in general, and that's one of the main ingredients in block. Um, and that ingredient is known to directly target belly fat. So if you have somebody who is struggling with um, the middle area for whatever reason, I, I know some people, and this also often comes back to insulin resistance, but they can't get rid of that midsection. Uh, Block is a great product to add in, and I usually have them take it fed. So something a little bit different. Um, okay, ProBio 5, another fun fact here. Um, so, you know, there's five strains of bacteria in it. We have the ketinase enzyme, and that specifically helps to attack fungi in the body, um, candida yeast, whatever you want to call it. And um, so fungus, so I'm going to use them interchangeably, fungus and yeast, same thing, but they have a really thick cell wall. So it's really hard for, I'm trying to like use a diagram, <laughs> it's really hard for things to kill fungus because this cell wall, like right here, this is really hard to break through and break it down. So what the ingredients in ProBio 5 do is that they're able to get through that tough outer layer um, and they're able to destroy it. But this is why it takes so long. If you've ever had a yeast infection or a thrush or any other type of fungal issue that it takes a long time to get rid of it because that it's very resilient. Um, so that is something that this ketinase helps to do. Um, and yeast, and you know, in general, it help it replicates itself every ninety minutes. That's really fast. It's really really hard to get rid of. So the enzyme in there breaks down that strong fungal cell wall and it exposes it, and it's more able to be killed. So um, the fungi can also attack that intestinal bar burial barrier. So that's when you hear like candida in the gut. And what that does is it, it also increases inflammation. So a lot of inflammation in the body is really the precursor to disease and illness. So our goal is always to decrease our inflammation in our body. Um, and, you know, with the yeast overgrowth, the candida, you've seen lots of mystery illnesses, um, just random stuff that, they, you know, you just feel terrible, but there's really not a diagnosis. Sometimes it's fatigue and sugar cravings and pain, um, fibromyalgia. Can, it can um, transform into food allergies, so many different things. Um, so we want to make sure that we are removing any of that yeast overgrowth so that we're able to better absorb our nutrients, keep our inflammation down, and detoxify our body. So when I talk more about detoxification, that's one of my favorite things to um, talk on. But Ease, Ease is one of my favorite products. I love Ease. Um, and it's because the green lipid muscle is also a rich source of omega-3 and omega-6. So those, it's a blend of these natural proteins that help with joint mobility, uh, decreasing inflammation, because when you have that high inflammation, it makes it harder for the body to detoxify in general. It, then it can't even detoxify to toxins. So ease is something that I actually use daily, more as a preventative, not necessarily for pain, but as something that helps to reduce that systemic inflammation and more for wellness. So I take it every night before bed. Um, X Factor Plus is something as the holidays are coming up, I love X Factor Plus as a stocking stuffer. So if you're looking for people to give gifts to and you know you don't really know what to get them, I think this is a great product. Um, and oh, teachers as well. Last year I took X Factor Plus to my um, daughter's teachers and I also gave them, what else did I give them? Um, elderberry syrup. <laughs> so, um, but what we need is X Factor Plus in general, and this is why I love it. So it's because it also has chelated minerals in it, which just means that they're broken down in, into their absorbable, usable form. The body doesn't have to do any crazy conversion to be able to use them. Um, the grapeseed extract and aloe are both polyphenols. It helps to enhance the nutrients, so the absorption. Um, the polyphenols also are great for gut health. They're a prebiotic. And what that does, again, is it feeds a bacteria that your body takes in. So it's like special food for bacteria. So we really have something powerful with just these few products, something that everybody can use with those. Okay, got a couple more notes for y'all. <laughs> Um, the other thing I want, I want to talk a little bit more about X Factor Plus because I feel like it's one of our best products and it's something that everybody can use, but I feel like we, we underestimate its, um, its benefits, if that makes sense. So 
with these minerals that are in it, so the chelated minerals, is something that's very specific to our product. Um, it's a lot harder to find a multivitamin that has chelated minerals, but what they also do is they help with cellular energy. So energy at the core of the cell is something called the mitochondria. And iron is best known for carrying the oxygen through the body. Um, and the iron in this product is from that New Zealand black currant. So it's one of the richest antioxidants known to man, but it also is really good at carrying iron. The other thing is that the black currant also has those omega fatty acids, and it also has vitamin E. So you're getting more bang for your buck. Um, so if you have someone who maybe has pain issues or you know just can't um, afford two products, X Factor Plus, I'm not saying that it takes place of Mega X, but it does provide them some of those fatty acids, which can be really helpful for them. Okay, let me see. Looking at a few different things here for you guys. Okay, so when we talk about the good gut health, so as we're on X Factor Plus, and X Factor Plus has the polyphenols that act as the prebiotics in the body, um, I'll talk a little bit about gut health and that the, so 80% of your immune system is derived from those immune cells in your small intestines. So that good bacteria, what it does is it builds a strong barrier in the gut to prevent those bad bugs, so bad bugs, bad bacteria, from entering the bloodstream. You may have heard something called leaky gut syndrome. A lot of people that have those mystery symptoms or candida overgrowth, um, that is what they suffer with. Because what has happened is those bad bugs or the yeast has made those micro holes in the intestines and they are getting sick. So this is something that why again, like probiotics and X Factor Plus, can be amazing for everyone. So the other ingredient is there in there is the grape seed extract. And this has been studied for years and years and years. Um, one of the reasons why we have it is for um, hot flashes, something that we that we promote, right? For menopause and hot flashes. Um, but grape seed extract actually, um, so they did a multi-center, make sure I'm saying that right, multi-center clinical study, and it found that it improved the quality of life from uncomfortable symptoms of menopause, right? So as hot flashes, um, and it also helped to increase muscle mass in women who were menopausal. So that's that's a big issue with, with women who go to menopause. They start having a muscle breakdown. They start having um, issues with bone density. So again, this, this product you know, offers so much more than just what we see. Um, the grape seed extract as well helps with absorption by 125% for vitamin C and vitamin A or vitamin E. Um, so the more absorption we have in the body, the more we're able to use the vitamins and minerals, the less free radicals we have and the, the, the last, uh, less damage that we have to our cells. So the, the less damage, the less inflammation, the, you know, the stronger our immune system. That's kind of what we want right now during, um, this time when we have less vitamin D, less sun exposure, you know, we have a lot of things going on that, you know, predispose us to getting sick. Um, and the last thing we want to chat about in there is aloe vera, right? How great is aloe vera? Um, two patent blends, it's right? Awesome. 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 So I was just saying aloe vera also helps with the gut health. It's been known also to be a prebiotic. So a lot of our ingredients work together in multiple different ways. So when we order X Factor, right, we're not just getting a multivitamin. We're getting so much more. I think that's really important to know when you talk to people. People want to know that they're not going to waste their money, that they want to know they're getting good value for their money. So I think we have a way to, to share that with people, you know, with, with these products, with just the few little tidbits of random information, it's so much more than what they're getting from just looking at the website. Um, just they want, people want to know that they are getting a good value in something. So those are some of my favorite things to share with people. Um, the other thing I like to mention is in 
BioCleanse. So BioCleanse, you have that bioflavonoid blend. So what this is, it's antioxidants. So not only are people getting um, the magnesium and the vitamin C, but they're getting another way to better absorb those nutrients and minerals with the bioflavonoids. So that is also a fun fact. Um, let me see here. If you guys didn't know already, the way that Slim works with the chromium, so, you know, we talk about um, balancing blood sugars, right? And maintaining a healthy metabolism. And the way the body does that is with chromium. Now, alpha lipoic acid works um, in a little bit different way. It also can help with blood sugar regulation, but the main ingredient is chromium. And the way that that works is that it makes the body more sensitive to insulin. So you want to be sensitive to insulin. You don't want to be resistant to insulin. You want to be sensitive. So the way it works is that chromium helps the body to be more sensitive to insulin. And the reason why this is important is because, um, so you have your cells floating around. And when you hear about someone who has high blood sugar, that is glucose that is outside of the cell. So we know that to um, improve organs, right? So every, every organ in our body needs energy and they get the energy from the glucose. But if the glucose isn't able to get into the cell, so basically if the sugar is not able to get into the cells to stay on the cell, then it, it builds up and it's not effective outside. So the way that insulin works is that it opens the cell and it allows the glucose to come in. And I think that's really interesting because when we're talking about chromium, it helps the body to be better able to do that. So that is why you'll hear when people start on the products, um, oftentimes they have better blood sugar. They have a better um, hemoglobin A1C. That's a three month um, progress of what someone's blood sugar is every day. So you put them on it, you wait three or four months and you check it again. A lot of times they've, they've seen a big decrease. I've had people be able to get off a lot of different medications with our products. Um, but I think it's so fascinating to know that that is why that is help. That is that is helping. That is kind of the physiology behind it. Um, like I said, I really really love sharing about the ins and outs of the products. Um, the other thing, as we come into um, the winter here, dry skin, right? Oh my gosh! Um, if it's not for Joyome, which has been fantastic for so many people, the night creams, especially for dry skin. But I want to talk a little bit about the body cream, right? So we don't talk a lot about the effect of body cream anymore. But it has activated charcoal and spirulina algae. They are great for detoxifying the skin. So um, I definitely want you guys to be thinking about those as like stocking stuffers or the little sample packs to have. Um, whenever we're out and about, I have my bag. If one of my girls fall, we put it on as like a boo-boo cream and they love it. But um, if you're super crunchy like me, I use it as an armpit detox. <laughs> so there's a lot of different things you can do as a mask base for like um, a charcoal mask, whatever it may be. But um, it has some really great ingredients in it. And again, these are things that I feel like aren't talked about as much, right? Um, okay, let's see. Um, the, e the ease cream, the ease cream. I hope you guys use the ease cream as well. I think it's so great for pain. Um, but there's, there's an ingredient in it called Ederol. And what Ederol is, and it's a highly concentrated form of the New Zealand green lip and muscle. And it's a really potent antioxidant. They have done so many research studies on this green lip and muscle for inflammation. There's some great studies that show that it's um, been proven to help against arthritis, um, post-surgical pain. I mean, really, really great stuff. So if you're ever looking for something like that, I definitely encourage you to look it up. Um, as well as turmeric, which is really great for inflammation. It has in it. All these things help to decrease that in the body, which then help to decrease pain. Let's see here. Okay. Um, okay. Vital biome and, uh, profile five. I'm, I'm always asked like, who do you start on? What, who do you start on? What, how does that work? Um, so I love vital biome. I think it is so great for anxiety, mood disorders. I think it is such a fabulous product. Um, it's helped several of my friends who have had, um, PPD be able to stop their medications and feel normal again. I, mean, I just think it's hands down an amazing product. Um, I was, I actually started it when I was pregnant with my second baby. 
about um, 36 weeks, that and X Factor Plus. And I had so much energy. It was crazy. <laughs> At the end of pregnancy, I had so much energy. I just felt incredible. I had no shifts postpartum. Um, I just felt completely stable and happy. And I think that's a lot to be said um, with Joyum. I think it's a fantastic product. It has eight different um, strains. The difference is that I really feel like Pro Bio 5 is something that you want to take um, when someone's pretty sick at first, when they're coming to you, when they've had a history of autoimmune issues, maybe they have those mystery symptoms, maybe they have trouble losing weight. I think breaking down that fungus in the beginning, the first couple months, I think it's really important to start them on ProBio 5. Um, and then you can also, you could add in um, Vital Biome. It won't hurt them to have both, but I always like to start with ProBio 5 and I still do. I really follow that. Um, if you have someone who has been on something with digestive enzymes and um, they're super, super healthy. I think you have a little bit more flexibility, but I usually start with ProBio 5. And that is pretty much it for like my, some of my um, product extras that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I loved that. Like I loved that you brought all the different aspects. In. Am I still all gurgly sounding? You're fine. Oh, okay. Cause I hear something weird. Um, I just love that you just brought it all in to just all of this just like met in the middle. And like, I didn't ever really think of all of our products quite like that. So that was amazing. I loved it. Thank you so much. Um, did you have anything to add or are we moving into questions um, to the questions? That we gave? So I was going to answer some of the questions that you sent to me. Um, I'm just going to pull them up really quick here on my computer. I have two screens going. Let's see. So now we're going to move a little bit more to the business guide. We're going to take some of your, some of the common questions that get asked and take a minute to go over those. Yes. I'm trying to pull up your message. <laughs> Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Okay. So I, one of the questions was, what is my favorite tip um, for getting new leads on potentials? So I always feel like um, if I go anywhere, my goal is always to come home with one new contact. So whether it be the grocery store, um, kids games, um, anywhere, really, that's always my goal that if I don't get one name, one contact, I stay. Um, so just like yesterday at TJ Maxx, I was looking at pillows and a lady was looking at pillows and I, I told her, I said, oh, I think I have like, she was looking for a blue pillow. I'm like, I have a blue pillow at home. Let me send you a picture of it. I think it might be what you're looking for. I can share with you where I got it. And I added her to Facebook. So I'm always looking for people to connect with when I'm out and about. So I think that's really my, my best tip is to be open to getting new contacts. And a lot of times that's maybe approaching people and getting out of your comfort zone. And I'm really introverted. So before this business, I would never, ever go up to somebody and say hello, or if they were looking at something, inquire about what they wanted, what they were doing. I just, that just was not me. It was so uncomfortable. And there are times that I still feel uncomfortable, but I really pushed through that because I know that and this is a big part of personal growth and development. So my favorite tip is to always be open to getting new potentials. Um, the other thing is I plug into Facebook groups. I was able to really um, expand my business in the beginning with um, people who were in my, I had a breastfeeding support group on Facebook and I was able, as I was in that group, I grew relationships with them. They trusted me. I had influence in the group. So when I was able to say, hey, you know, I back these products, I like this opportunity, they were more willing to join me. And that is really, I think what it comes down to is people trusting you, respecting you and you having influence over them. So I find sometimes with my girls and my guys that they may be doing everything right, but they're not really seeing any rewards yet from all their work. And a lot of times that is influence. So it's something now that they have to become an expert in or someone of an authority in that thing. So say, say you crochet, plug in a crochet group, ask a lot of questions, start answering questions. You will become a person of authority in that group, someone of influence and people are going to look to you. And you can do that with anything, anything at all. For me, it was breastfeeding, it was parenting. Um, 
And, you know, I was a first time mom. I knew nothing, but it just started to come to me. I started pouring into these people and adding value to them and answering their questions and going the extra mile. And I think, you know, that can be in any group. And that's really the key to this is you have to be open to add value to people. So basically give them things for free, whether it be education, comfort, support, friendship, without expecting anything in return. You have to give to get in this business. Um, and I find that to be so true because you may um, just meet someone and maybe you cold message them and you're like, hey, I want you to look at this. And they don't respond to your messages or they don't get back to you or they tell you no. But if that was someone that you had been building a relationship with, somebody who um, you had conversation prior, um, they would most likely probably say yes, or they would tell you no in a very respectful way. So I often find that in times where people are getting the cold shoulder, um, it's just a lack of influence and that can be easily changed. It's just a matter of finding something that you love and pouring into it. Okay, um, so how did I gain influence over my warm market? So I guess this is kind of the same thing. Um, I became an expert in something, something that people wanted to come to me to. And I always say, you know, look, audit your Facebook, have someone audit your Facebook. What is the feel that you get when you go to someone's Facebook? Do you feel like they're gonna sell you something? Do you feel like you get to know them? I always say, you want to feel like you know that person and you wanna be vulnerable and you wanna share your life. Um, and you want people to go to your page and say, oh, she likes this a lot and she likes this. And I can, yeah, I, I could totally be friends with her. That is kind of what you want to be on your social media. People want to feel like they know you, even though they're getting like 0.5% of who you are ever. <laughs> um, it's a highlight reel. But people want to know that. And they want to know that you're not just Lexus. They want to know that you like something else and you care about something else. That's kind of your branding. So I feel like as you're gaining influence over, over your warm market, you want people to go to your page because they know they're going to take something away of it, of value. So maybe you share um, info about like vitamin C or vitamin D or whatever it may be. People know that when they go to your page, they're going to get something of value and they're going to leave with something that they didn't know before. And I always say that. I always say it's better not to post than to post something random without a purpose. Like everything you do on your social media platforms right now is something that can be used for your business to grow your influence and to grow your authority. So always be thinking, you know, is this something that I'm just putting out there because I have nothing else to post or am I really being intentional about it? If I know I have a potential who likes a certain, certain thing, or maybe they're struggling with a certain health issue, I try to share more about that, that I very intentionally share to them in hopes that they see it. Um, something that they can relate to. So, um, you know, warm market is really, I would say most people have a warm market for quite a long time. I think a lot of times we, we fear reaching out to the people who maybe already have good jobs, they have a lot of influence in our community, they're well connected. And I always say, these are the people that we should be reaching out to first. We should be connecting with the people that fear us or scare us first. And then we wanna fall back on the other aspects of our warm market. Uh, because you can always make a new warm market. You can always make a new warm market. Um, the cold messaging, the cold market, I feel like is what is a little bit harder. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of recruiting a cold market, to be honest. People enjoy connecting with people that they have a relationship with. They trust you. You have influence over them. You, you've added value in some way to their life. They're going to be more likely to join you versus a stranger off the street. Now that is where they become your warm market. As you start, you know, learning alongside them, whatever it may be, and you, you know, are pouring into them. And sometimes this does take a little bit longer. Sometimes it does. But I know for me, when I get a message from a stranger asking me, um, telling me I'd be really good at something and I don't know them and I've never talked to them, it's really easy for me to feel almost like attacked. And I think people feel that way when we message them. So I'm not a huge fan of cold messaging. Um, my my goal is always to take someone from my cold market to my warm market and then we start the process um so as far as systems i got a question about systems what kind of systems i have i have um so it is really easy to get overwhelmed in the beginning so i really think it's important to have a system so my team follows more of a bob heilig system if they're a business builder so i give people two options i give them the option to share right away or try the products first and wait and if they say they want to try the products and wait, then I encourage them 
And then I do a launch party for them. I say, okay, great. I respect that you don't want to post. Can we post in a private group? Who do you know who's suffering? Who can we throw into this group? Because my goal is to even get my wholesalers to silver. That is my system. My The basic of my system is to get everybody silver. Now, granted, that you know won't always happen, but that's always the goal. If it's someone who's a business builder, I get them sharing right away. Usually before they sign up, they already have a list of like 10 people to me. And we're trying to figure out what is the best way to reach out to these people. So I help them to create their reach out messages. I get the three-way chats with them. Um, we do video conferences. I'm a real big fan of getting people on Zoom or the telephone, especially if someone's really wanting to grow a business. I say, okay, who do you know that we can connect with? Face-to-face at a coffee shop here on Zoom. You know, let's get on the phone because when they hear their friend's emotion and excitement and then they hear your story, people connect to it so much more. I mean, as humans, we are biologically wired to have connection with other humans. So if we're doing everything behind messenger, you kind of lose a part of that. So I've really gone back to more face-to-face stuff um, and also just trying to get on the phone with people. So that is my basic system. Get them active right away, get them to silver. Um, And it's going to look two different ways, right? It's going to be a launch party for some. And for some, it's going to be getting on the phone, getting on messenger, getting on Zoom with them as quick as possible to get them sharing. The first 30 days, I am on my new girls like white on rice if they're a business builder. We work closely every day. I talk to them and make that post. Let me know when you're done. Okay, right now, I need you to reach out to those two people. Let me know when you're done. So small goals, small little to do so they don't get overwhelmed. I usually don't tag them in a bunch of stuff on the team page. That was a system I had a long time ago. got really overwhelming. People didn't watch things. I will send them one thing at a time. Hey, watch this video. Let me know when you're done. And then we talk about it. So it's small little bits every single day. It helps them to feel like they are progressing, that they're having some type of milestones. And then I set those goals for them. Okay, where do you want to be? I always ask them, there's something that Bob Hyde says, how much money do you need to make to get excited about this? So I ask them that. And if they tell me $500, then I say, okay, this is what we need to do to yield about $500 a month. And we start doing it. I ask them, you know, how, how would it make you feel if you got if you went silver in your first month? You know, on minimum, that's a minimum of $175. And how would that make you feel? And for a lot of people, that is great. You know, we want to get them their return of investment in the first month if it's possible. So that is really my um, just basic system for getting people going is getting them activity as soon as possible. If someone still refuses to share and they're not really comfortable and they're just going to take the products, then I check in with them like a customer. I check in once a week for the first month and then I go to buy monthly. Um, okay, so Megan asks, I know there's no such thing as balance, but what's your best tip for fitting it all in without burning out? So um, I have burned out more times than I can tell you <laughs> in the four and a half years. And it's taken me about probably four years to really decide what works best. And the one thing that I had to come to realize was that I will never be done with my work. Every single day, there'll be something else that I have to do that I didn't finish. So what I ask myself every day is I say, what are the top three things that you need to get done today? And that is what I start with. I make a list usually each um, week. I usually have a list of the things I need to do. And I say, okay, what are the top three things that are today? So for instance, this weekend, I'm doing an event for nurses. So I knew okay, this is my top priority in the next couple days is to get this organized. After that, I will go on to this. So it's just giving yourself that grace and knowing that you are never going to be done. You're always going to have more people to contact, more team members to work with, more messages unread. It's just going to be, that's just how it is. So that has has to give you some comfort. Um, And then I block my time. So I will sit down with a timer and I'll say, okay, this is my two-hour reflection block and I'll turn the timer on. And I work in those two hours. Usually for me, it's um, what I do is I get up, I sometimes my kids in the morning, I make breakfast, and then I leave the house for usually two or three hours, and I work away from the home. That's how I stay focused. I'm not super focused at my house. And I work in that time. My calls are done in that time. Um, occasionally, I have calls in the evening like this, but I really try to get everything done during that time. Then when I come home, that's my home time. So you have to block it. You have to say, work home, work home. One of the biggest ways to get burned out is when you're trying to 
intermingle them too much. And you're on your phone and your kids are wanting to play and your husband's making dinner and you're doing a call here. It's really, really stressful. So I think having that self-discipline and those, those healthy boundaries are super important, especially after your business starts, starts growing. Um, the one thing that helps me now when I sign people up is I set those expectations in the beginning and I set those boundaries with my team members. I say, I work most days between here and here um, and I do not return messages after 7 p.m. And then the next day I, I take care of that in my, um, in my work hours. The great thing is all of us probably have really great team pages. They're super active. People are able to get that, you know, basic information. But I do try to set those healthy boundaries for myself and my team. Um, and that helps me to not feel burnt out because I would still answer my phone all night long for somebody at 2 a.m. If I get up to go pee, I check my phone and there's someone in there, I'm going to respond to them. So it's something that I really had to put into play um, for my own happiness. So I definitely encourage you guys to make sure that when you work, you work. And when you're home, you're home. And that may um, even mean turning your phone off and putting it somewhere else. I'm like a big believer in taking a day or two off each week from flexes um, and something that I wish I would have done a long time ago. And that's my social media detox time. <laughs> and then when I come back, I'm rejuvenated. I feel re-inspired and I'm ready to work in my work time. So that is basically it for you. That's what I have right now. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> oh, I love all of that. Let's see. Anybody have any last questions? Before we close it up. Well, thank you guys so much for having me on tonight. I really appreciate it. It was fun to chat with another team. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for being so gracious for giving me your time. Um, I just want to make sure in the chat we have questions, just hearts and happy faces. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate everything you said, Emily. Thank you so, so much for being on. We've got this recorded, and I know so many people are excited to share it. I'm even getting text messages. I hope you're recording this. I gotta share it, so. <laughs> All right, guys.